Good evening everyone. Now I know that I say this quite often, but I don't usually start my videos in the evening. However, I've got a little bit of a different video because I know that I've had lots of interest from people about my new routines and things that I've sort of changed. So I thought for this vlog, I would take you through a few of my routines. And considering the most important part of my routine begins in the evening before the next day, I thought it would be good to start here. So I've just finished up work for the day. It's just gone, well, it's just coming up to six o'clock, I think. Cal has just left a little bit late, but we finished up, although Ali is still working. He's not supposed to be, but he's not going through the changes in his life quite like I am. And I'm kind of gonna start off by getting the house ready for the evening. So there's bits and pieces, things that I've been buying. I've purchased a few items for a trip coming up that we've got. I'm going on a trip with Laura Mercier. So I bought some new sort of, well, I thought these would be good walking boots for the summer anyway. Some Timberland boots, you can't really go wrong with the classics. I went for the black version. I also got myself a bobble hat from Amazon, a little faux fur woolly hat. I thought they'd look quite good together and look good in the snow as well. But those are items that have arrived. Also actually got an ASOS order and I had another order from somewhere else. Just some warm fleecy bits like this coat on here. How snuggly does this look? These all arrived today. I'll show you these items anyway. If you in the video but yeah like I said this is the hub of the house so considering we finished up for the evening with work I'm going to get everything kind of packed away I've got some food prep stuff to make dinner out there so that's what we're going to do next but I'm going to sort this room out I'm also going to get the fire roaring in the living room ready for when we sit down and chill although Mr Mill and Gordon yeah. do you think you'll have time to sit in front of the fire tonight because you're still working and it's gone five. I can always stop because I'm the boss of my own job. Yeah, but are you going to stop? That's the difference. Happy to stop and, uh... I thought we were going to start watching The Crown again tonight. The what? The Crown. I'm up that, yeah, the Crown going to stop. When you say dinner's ready. Okay, cool. Good to know. Well, at least that sorts that out. So, like I said, I'm going to get sorted in here. I'm probably going to get the dinner on as well and get the living room sorted. Then what we'll do is we'll sit down, snuggle on the sofa, and I'll watch TV, but I'll also do a little bit of planning in my diary. It doesn't take me long, to be fair, but I just note down all of the things that I'm gonna do tomorrow, all of the things that I've got planned, and get myself prepped and organized for what today is gonna bring, because I feel like if I go into a day and I don't know what's gonna happen, nothing happens. So this is how I prepare not to fail on my days, basically. Pop you up there. Time for a little bit of a sort out. Eight of six unpacked. I can remember what I ordered now. Ooh. Oh yeah, so I ordered some fleecy bits to keep us warm when we're there. I really like these kind of things that you can just put over leggings. So that'll be nice and warmy warm. Like, oh, I ordered this for when I start running again. I'm such a fair weather runner, but none of the armbands fit my arms. So this is a waistband from Nike. Because I've got arms like Mr. Puniverse. So yeah, this is a waistband for me to put my phone in. Then I can have my headphones in and this will be around my waist. I'm sure it'll be super annoying. But I just saw it on there and I thought it's worth a try because none of the armbands work. Oh, I didn't even realise I ordered this. But apparently I did. So this is the, a Whistles jumper that I think was in the sale uh, that says Dreamer on it that I quite liked. So I purchased that from ASOS. I don't really shop that often at ASOS because I feel like they've changed so much. Well, actually, no, they haven't changed. That's their problem. They haven't changed like their approach to fashion and they're all still doing like the misguided stuff, but they do it better. And another fleecy fleece. So these are all just really, oh, they're not this. Oh, and this I got for yoga. So I was worried that this wasn't gonna fit me. But yeah, it's just a little like yogury top that looks quite cute with a little knot in it, a little crop top. So, time to get organized and ready to make dinner. And that is the kitchen sorted. Dishwasher unloaded. To be honest, I wouldn't usually unload the dishwasher but I'm gonna cook and I didn't want it to look messy. So usually I'd wait for Ali to do that, but he's busy and I'm feeling productive, so I did it. 
Right, next up I am attempting risotto for the first time, so I'm gonna get this going. I'm not sure how this will go, to be honest. I am I struggle, like, going for recipes that I haven't looked at myself and been like, yeah, I can definitely do that. Carrie's kind of set this one for me as a task, so I'm gonna give it a go. But it could all go horribly wrong. But whilst that heats up, I'm going to go and put on some snuggly pyjamas and get ready for the evening. Mm. This is my kind of night. Pyjamas are on. I've opted for some intimacy, snuggly loungewear, and some microwavable slippers that I got from Costco. <laughs> the veg is well and truly on the go, so I'm going to use my uh, recipe just to see what's coming next and prep. <laughs> Whilst the veg softens, I'm going to tick off some of my to do lists, fill out my workout planner. Okay, ticked off most of my to-do list today. There was only one thing that I didn't get shot, so I'm gonna try and get that shot tomorrow instead, which is good. Update on the risotto. Looking good and tasting good. I remembered to sample my food before serving it. I'm just about to take it off the heat and let it stand. Look at me. Whilst it stands on the hob, I'm going to lay the table. We've interrupted dinner because Lumi's come home very soggy. So daddy's given her a, a little rubber dub dub. She doesn't like it, but you'll thank me later when you don't get cold. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna escape. I've got little wet ears. <laughs> Ready for some dinner? Some food. Yeah, that changes your mind, doesn't it? Some food. I've not, I've not got it. Come on in. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Dinner is complete and Ali is just setting up the living room. I hope he liked my candles as well. He's good at that. I'm just coming up to grab my iPad. Here it is. I've got that. Because... I have a number of items that I consistently tend to walk around the house with, although I haven't used this today because I've been on the laptop downstairs. But these are the things that I generally walk around the house with all day. <laughs> Four, five things. Okay, my iPad Pro. I use mainly for either writing blog posts and admin, sometimes some emails, then my phone, obviously, because everything happens from there. A lip balm, this is one of the Clé de Peau lip balms, but this one is Coral, my favorite one. This is my absolute favorite. My lips are really dry at the moment, and I'm actually just opting for a tinted balm over the spice liner instead of any lipstick at the moment. Then I have my diary. This is the Smithson, or Smithson, diary. This is a Soho one that Guerlain gifted to me. And then I have my big one liter bottle which gets me through so much more water. This is the handiest thing I've purchased in a long time. And these are the things that generally I kind of juggle as I walk around the house. So I'll be taking these into the living room, despite the fact that I finish work, they come into the living room with me anyway. Also, I've got some uh, comments to respond to because tonight my video went up. So I want to just do, do a few comments whilst I watch The Crown with Ali. So I'm not gonna be able to juggle all of this and vlog. So let's go into the living room. Ali's already in here. Fire on the go. This is my sofa. Here. 
it's about 8 p.m. now. Lumi's just going out the living room door. She's been out and had a wee, so she'll usually start to settle down now. I am on this sofa and Ali is on the other sofa. Ali prefers to have a like synthetic blanket whereas I like the wool ones because they're like breathable and stuff so I've got my Avoca one on. This is usually the time of the night when Lumi comes in and settles down with us and we watch TV as a family. So tonight we're watching The Crown because we did start watching it ages ago and we just didn't really get into it but I think we need to give it a bit more time and also all of this stuff around like Meghan and Harry really fascinates me and so I'm interested to see like how all of the sort of more modern day stuff eventually plays out as well. So we're going to give that another go this evening now and obviously we'll probably get through around two episodes and then into bed at 10 o'clock. So whilst I'm sat here I usually work my way through a few things, just things that I can comfortably do. So if I need to order any product or if I need to respond to some comments or if I need to, oh, I need to think of a concept for something that I'm working on. So I'll just work my way through that and probably note down anything that I need to get done tomorrow as well. This I find really therapeutic, so it doesn't really disrupt my evening too much at all. And I can still usually follow the general gist of the program as well. down time isn't it Lummy? Good girl. I'll put this away for now and do some work on my phone instead. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So I'm leaving Ali in the living room to start my little evening routine in here. Usually I'd kind of type out in there but I realised I probably can't talk you through it so I decided that I will do my skincare routine with you and get myself into bed Ooh. <laughs> and go through my little notes and things like that. So time to get my face fresh. Right. Where's my hair bubble? There we go. I only pretty much use silk hair bubbles now. I think these ones are from the Nice Cream Co. I'll link them in the description box. But this is the perfect point to tell you that this video includes a integrated, paid for partnership ad with Clé de Peau Beauté, which if you remember, just after the summer last year, I went for a really big event with Clé de Peau Beauté and it was for the launch of the eighth generation La Creme, which is really, really exciting. And I spoke a lot about what was happening with them then and the fact that I'd been trialing the cream for like months, literally months before that event. And I've been using La Creme loads and loads and loads since. I love this product. Where is it? Where's my big one? It's in my travel case. <laughs> packed from when I've been at my brother's. So, how does this product fit into my routine? Well, as you know, I suffer with skin that kind of changes a lot. Sometimes it's really dry, sometimes it's a little bit oily, sometimes it's acne prone, and especially over the last few months, it has been completely erratic. And this is the product that I use when I want my skin to wake up feeling nourished, but still have the effects of retinol, because there's retinol in the cream but it's not too stripping. It's super gentle, but super hydrating at the same time. La Creme for me is kind of like the product that I can use and use and use, and I never ever have any problems with my skin. Basically, my skin feels plump, it feels regenerated, it feels rejuvenated, resurfaced, but in the most gentle form. And I always wake up and I'm like, oh my God, it just feels incredible. Now this has been lovingly used as all of my skincare that I ever recommend and also it lasts 
for so long. I can't tell you how long it took me to get through the pot that I had from the lab sample because you just use the smallest amount. There's a very particular way that you apply the creme and I'm gonna talk you through that now. But I'm gonna talk you through my evening skincare routine and show you exactly how I use it. For me at the moment, my skincare has to be something that's maintainable. I can't be having downtime and my face peeling off and using all of these harsh chemicals on a day-to-day -day basis. I love treatments and I love exploring the possibilities of my skin, but I need to be able to have my day-to-day -day skincare as something that is usable, workable for someone who's busy, that also wants beautiful, hydrated, but rejuvenated skin. Clé de Peau Beauté's La Creme is not just a product based on luxury. It's a huge, huge factor in it. it is the most luxurious feeling cream that I have ever used on my skin. But it also has the science to back up the price tag and also its luxe stature within the industry. I want skincare that actually does exactly what it says and La Creme for me makes having beautiful and radiant skin a day-to-day -day reality without having any kind of downtime and always maintaining a beautiful skin. This is the gorgeous packaging. This is the eighth generation of La Creme. And this is by far the most exquisite packaging that I have seen. This looks like looking at a diamond under a microscope. It is absolutely stunning. So with that in mind, I'm going to talk you through how I use it and get myself into bed and talk you through how I plan my day. So I'm actually gonna put my hair up in a little tuck. So that I don't get my hair wet. Now, get some warm water. So cleansing wise, I start off with the Amora Vita cleansing foam. I'm actually using this for my first cleanse at the moment to remove all of my makeup. And then for my second cleanse, I've been trying out the Ulla Henriksen cleansing truth foam cleanser. So let's start things off with a good old facial cleanse. Then, for kind of like a skin essence, I have been using the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Perfecting Water Moisture Mist. And I spray this on and I massage that in like so. Eye cream wise, at the moment I've been enjoying something really rich. Ooh really rich. I, I really find that I find a lot of eye creams to be quite watery and I wanted something a little bit more rich I guess. So I've actually been using the Lano. I use this a lot when it comes to having eczema on my eyes but I also just find it really is wonderful for putting on your eyes and waking up the next day to really hydrated eyes. And just like that it is time to apply La Creme. And I apply to this cheek, this cheek, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And I massage gently in. Always moving upwards. It makes the most beautiful, beautiful night cream and also looks beautiful on my skin. When I go to bed, I feel like I look hydrated and I wake up the next morning looking exactly the same. Like it just, it doesn't just soak into your skin and disappear throughout the whole night and you wake up the next day and you're just like, oh. <laughs> I always like to, hmm. And then I apply a thick layer of lip balm because I like my lips to wake up hydrated as well. So I apply the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips. Can't think what this tastes like. Yeah, maybe it's milk chocolate. <laughs> and in all honesty, that is my skincare routine. So then I go on to brush my teeth. I'm using the Spotlight Oral Care Toothbrush and the whitening tooth, well, the toothpaste for whitening teeth as well. Get my teeth clean as well as my face. This is probably my most simple and my most common nighttime beauty routine at the moment. I'll swap things out as and when my skin needs it. If I have like a blemish and I need to use an on the spot treatment, I will use a prescriptive retinol. You'll see I have 
two little healing areas here. There's no lumps or anything. It's just little healing bits. If I have any areas of like eczema, I'll use my creams that work with that, but I kind of tailor everything to my skin on the night, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible because I want my routines to be effective. And at the moment, this is working so, so well with my skin. Like it honestly is in such, such a good place at the moment. Obviously there'll be other times when I do like my oil sort of smothering you might remember that from december when i put oil on my hair and i put like my espa oil all over my body and i just listen to what my skin needs and tailor make it to that and this is definitely one of the products that i'm able to use more often and more effectively in terms of my job if i've got meetings the next day i don't want to be sat in a meeting and my face getting tight and tight and tight because i've used something really harsh and abrasive so i use much more gentle products that still have the same powerful effects on my skin but don't leave me feeling tight-faced and create any peeling or anything like that so as you can see i'm a glowy little worm at the moment but i will link the eighth generation of Le Creme in the description box down below. And we are going to be looking at some of the other main components of Le Creme over the next few months, because for me, it's so exciting for me to, to be their official global influencer for Clé de Peau Beauté's Le Creme. And I'm excited to tell you more about it because I've done so much learning about this product, as well as trialing. Like I said, I got this product in the summer and I've been using it ever since, so. <laughs> Still got my little crew of tech and essentials with me. So now that I'm in bed, I can start sort of prepping what the plan of action is for tomorrow. Now tomorrow is my last day in the office before I go to Soho Farmhouse. So I've got to make sure that everything is wrapped up and ready for whilst I'm away. I basically plan everything and I write lots of things down like even the time that I want to get up. And sometimes I don't stick to it, but when it's written down, I feel like I'm better at sticking to the general area. So I'm usually, if I put six o'clock, I'm usually up by half six, and that works really well. As you can hear, Ali is getting ready to come to bed as well. I'm not going to bed by myself, he's coming too. And then I want to do 30 minutes of spin around 7 a.m. I have a call tomorrow, I think at 10 a.m. I have vlog content to write tomorrow. I also need to pack for Soho Farmhouse. I need to make an order of clothing and concept. And that is my day planned for the morning. So with that, Ali's gonna be coming and getting ready for bed. Mm -hmm. And I will see you guys in the morning. There he is. Ali a voucher to have some treatments done because he just doesn't take care of himself and I want him to take better care of himself and he's been bugging me because I booked him in at Derma Spa and he's like um I want you to phone up and book me in and I and I was like so what treatments are you going to be having then? I've got a little, little blue mark next one's on one. He goes I'm gonna have a manicure and a pedicure with polish. <laughs> what does it mean? I thought it just meant like they polished them up. So they like cut the, cut it, <laughs> no. put back your cuticles and give them a little little shine. No, babe, with polish is with like a colour on them. Oh, nail polish. <laughs> oh dear, that's very sweet, babe. And then I can't decide whether to get a uh, 60 minute sports massage or a 60 minute osteopath. But the same guy does all of it. Yeah. And it's the same price because he's charges per hour yeah so it's just so maybe ask just, them on the phone well i'll just go in and when i'm there with him i'll be like what do you suggest and let him suggest okay and what else do you want well that was it i wanted a feet and my hands making and good. what and then you'll use the the rest of it another time no and then and then the sports massage but that oh and then that's 80. when well now i'm going for no polish aren't i <laughs> so it's cheaper <laughs> so i've literally 
it's when you say things with conviction it just it just destroys me babe you're like with polish well <laughs> we you laugh i've just saved 38 quid <laughs> so oh dear. i've got no treatment in me now Oh really? Well but yeah, because I've just saved 38 babe, quid babe, and I had a bit left over, so now it's babe, a good amount, like 60 old quid left. Babe, you do earn money, so if you want to go and have other treatments and pay for them, you can do that as well. Right. You're not just restricted to the parameters of your gift voucher for the rest of your life. I'll have to have a look and see what else they do. So was that a good Christmas present then? Yeah, it was lovely, thank you. Okay, that was very funny, my <laughs> eyes hurt, that was I'm so sorry. funny. everyone. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Couldn't really talk when I got up this morning. I just literally rolled out of bed, put whatever gym kit on I could find and hopped on the bike for like 15-20 minutes because I wasn't really feeling it this morning, but I knew that I wanted to do something. So I just did like the easiest spin class. I'm not even that out of breath from it, but I feel so much better for doing it. And just getting up is because I went to bed slightly later than usual last night. When you're like talking someone through what you're doing, it adds time to your normal, like flawless routine. So I sacrificed a few minutes of my usual routine to bring you guys up to speed basically. But I'm glad that I just did a small amount, it can go in my workout tracker and then hopefully tomorrow I can do a 45 minute one because I feel like I really need to do like a longer one this week. But now I'm going to get myself into the shower, I've still not had any kind of like wake me up drink, I'm just drinking water and I try and get through as much of that bottle hanging on my bike as possible before I'm ready for the day. That's like my first liter of water done. And the other one is just throughout the whole of the working day. And then the other one is in the evening and that works really well. But first off, shower. I don't know whether to wash my hair or not or whether to wait till tomorrow. I think I might wait till tomorrow actually. Ali has clean sheeted the bed before he gets in the gym. I'm about to get in the shower. I wash my face in the shower and obviously wash myself. And then I do my skincare when I come out. So I will see you after my shower. Okay, I had a last minute change of heart in the shower as I was washing my face. I was like, I'm gonna wash my hair. <laughs> so this is gonna set me back as well, but it just needed a wash and I thought, if I wash it today, it means that I can like swim and stuff like that when I go to Soho Farmhouse. So that whoo, works out better. Who else does their uh, beauty routines around their social schedule? So once I've washed my face in the shower, I use the Ulla Henriksen cleanser. I also used a black exfoliating knit. This is the one that I have. And once I'm out of the shower, I take the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Perfecting Water. Spritz onto my face and massage. For my eye cream, I'm using the Autocorrect from Sunday Riley. This is just a brightening eye cream, which I like to use during the day. For hydration all day, just to keep my skin like so super nourished, I use the Clé de Peau Beauté Protective Fortifying Cream and I do go through this a bit quicker but when I use this and put makeup on for a while I was finding that my skin was drying out halfway through the day and when I was like spritzing my face all the time. This keeps my face hydrated and moisturised for a lot longer so I've been using this pretty much every single day. I use it alongside SPF and if I want to use a glow enhancing moisturizer like Tata Harper then I'll put that on as well as far as I'm concerned right now my skin needs all the moisture so nice it's a really interesting texture as well when you put it on it feels creamy and then it almost goes like velvety on your skin I love it for SPF, I'm using the Elizabeth Arden Daily Defense Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 35. This is the great eight one. And then usually I'll let that soak in with a little bit of lip balm. Again, with the Kiehl's Butter Mask for lips. And I'll let that soak in. And if upstairs I'm like, oh, I want a little bit of extra glow, I'll pop the Tata Harp in. I'm going to put a dressing gown on, go upstairs, put some moisturizer on my whole body because I've exfoliated with my mitt. 
and get cracking with my beauty routine upstairs. So let's go. I've got some of my daily vitamins out. This is a probiotic, vitamin D3, and some CBD gummies that I'm just trying. They arrived and I thought, I'm gonna try those. Then I get my ginger and lemon morning tonic out of the fridge. I make it usually on a Sunday or a Monday morning. And how I have it, personally, you can have it as a shot, but I like to enjoy it. I enjoy this little juice that I make. So I add a shot to a mug and add hot water and that's it. And then I sip it during my morning get ready with me. Because I have trouble swallowing tablets, I have chewable ones, which make my life a little bit easier. I'm like a child. And I'm up in my dressing room. I've had to put all my stuff down because I'm carrying so much stuff around the house at the moment. But I'm going to dry my hair. I'm going to be using the GHD Helios, which is a new hair dryer from GHD and get myself all sorted. I've got my haul of drinks, my water and my lemon and ginger and all of my stuff to get ready. So I've given my hair a bit of a brush through as well because it's all nice and clean. <laughs> hair is nice and dry. This is the point where I put on my Audible book that I'm listening to. I'm just listening to The Sweet Spot again. I started listening to another one but I couldn't listen to it. And I find this so motivating and it gets me into the right mindset for the day. And I always take something new from it. So I'm going to pop that on. And I'm not going to do a get ready with me because we will be here forever. And you've just seen me do two back to back when I did like Christmas and New Year's. So I'm going to put you on a time lapse and get cracking on my face. But I'll make sure that everything's linked in the description box down below. But I have to get ready because I've got to get to work. So I've just finished up my makeup, I've gone for something super quick, not bothered to put eyeliner on and I've also gone for the Spice Lip Liner with the Claire de Peau Beauté Coral Lip Balm, the Lip Glorifier in number three coral. This is my favourite. I'm now going to quickly do something with my hair, I'm not sure what but we're going to do something and get some clothes on ready to work. Hair and makeup is finished. And I put loads and loads of oil in it so that it's nice and moisturized at the ends. This is probably one of my favorite outfits to wear when I'm working from home because it's just so easy. This is one of the Bomman dresses that I ordered from Farfetch and it's just so comfortable but looks so nice. I wear it with a pair of Chalcedonia tights and it's just smart but comfortable and I can kind of like cross my legs and do whatever when I'm at my desk and yet when I answer the door I don't feel like I look like an absolute tramp. I find something about being in my dressing gown too late in the day if I'm like still in my pajamas. I find it really disruptive and it makes me feel like I haven't got my life together. So this works much better for me, but I'm all fresh, nice and clean and ready to go to work. Ali is just pottering around in the kitchen behind me, but that is basically my whole evening to morning routine sorted. So now I'm ready to, to go and start work basically. I've got comments to respond to on last night's video. I've got a blog post to write. I've got a concept to come up with and some other bits and bobs online as well. Probably have some videos to watch back and approve and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna get down to, into the office with some water and get ready for my day. But skin's looking all nice and glowy this morning and hydrated and I'm feeling super awake and I'm glad that I got my workout in and even if it was just a small one, I'm not, I don't beat myself up about it now as long as I get it in. Tomorrow I'll have a better one and that's all that matters. <laughs> 